Sometimes you're going to be asked to do a division problem where there's a remainder, but the problem calls for you to get a decimal answer or a decimal quotient and not a remainder. And here's how you do problems like that. You put 4 into 7. That goes 1 time. 1 times 4 is 4. 7 minus 4 is 3. Now, normally you would just put remainder 3, but we can't put remainder because we want a decimal quotient. So what I'm going to do is add on 0 0.0 to this because 7 and 7.0 are the same thing. I'm going to bring the 0 down. 4 goes into 30. Oh, I put the decimal point up at the top like I always do in decimal division. 4 goes into 37 times. 7 times 4 is 28. Subtract and get a 2. Well, I can't put a remainder 2, so I'm going to go ahead and put another 0 on here because those zeros are free. Uh, 4 goes into 25 times. 5 times 4 is 20. And finally, I have no remainder here, so my answer is 1.75. Here's another example. 8 goes into 18 2 times. 2 times 8 is 16. Subtract and get 2. Cannot put 2 remainder 2 for this type of problem, so I have to put 0. I put a decimal point up at the top. I bring down the 0, and 8 goes into 20 how many times? Uh, 8 goes into 22 times. That's 16, right? Again, and we get 4. Now let's add another 0 on. 8 goes into 45 times. 5 times 8 is 40. And finally, I have no remainder, so the answer is 2.25.